Poverty is when you relinquish gratitude for life. Bound by dreams, greed, and the shiny things, we lash out. When will I have what I want? When I want it. Nothing is ever good enough, and the ropes of expectation chafe us into believing in our suffering. We are slaves to false idols, modern-day gladiators, dueling for recognition, and cutting ourselves with self-criticism. Success, always a hair's breadth away from every swing. Spartacus, the warrior slave, was surrounded by enemies' whips and the walls of a cell, life shifting like sand beneath quick feet, his heart beating to the question, will today be my last? Will this be the end? This is the question that made him rich, not the scheming for glory or legacy, but thinking, moving, and breathing as if he was on borrowed time. When you live to greet the sunrise and sunset and feel the wind upon your cheek, you are rich. Between dawn and twilight, there will be suffering. The water you drink may be filled with sand and rocks, but sip slowly and spit out the grit. Seek pleasantness before resentment and find God in everything. The sun is God. The sky is God. The love between people is God. Humility is God. Where does poverty exist in your actions? Do you starve your true self to maintain the perfect delusion? Why do you seek the acceptance of others? at the cost of accepting yourself. The likes, the attention, the comments, all for what? Oh, slaves of our time, wealth is free to those who recognize what they already have. Your smile is God. Your breath is God. Your realizations are God. Perception is God. Make God your instinct. For this is the way of angels. May God, your instinct, and all things will be made new.